I woke up a little too early today, and now I'm sleepy. Good morning, ladies and gents. Welcome back. Let's discuss Rainjo Exchange. Let me give you a quick overview. The first multi-chain DEX bridge aggregator. I've talked about multi-chains bridging Cosmos to Kronos, Polygon. However, I never talked about Rainjo Exchange. I discovered this two months ago. I used it quite a few times, and I find this very useful. Pretty much just like other aggregators, I've been using uh, multi-chain. There was another one. I forgot the name. Although they have quite a bunch of options here for multi-chain. Almost everything. But I feel Rainjo has more features. Right? I'll show you. And also, well, over 2 billion volume traded. And matter of fact, they're giving airdrops. Alright? So I'm going to come to this in a second. Let's see what they have on Twitter first. Alright? So March 28th, the second retroactive airdrops has started today. The snapshot will be on October 31st. The formula will be based on volume and frequency. The allocation will be 15%. But if the total volume of transactions exceeds what we expected, we will change the allocation. All right, so they have a medium page and they have posted quite a bunch of stuff here. Range has fully integrated the seller interchain, message framework into its cross chain protocol. This was on August 24th. Rango integrated Tor wallet. Rango hyphen. Okay, that's the medium. All right. Let's see some of the comments here. Do you have plan to add optimism? March 20th. I think they have already added it. And there are comments from June 4th, 5th. Seems like this is still ongoing. All right. So maybe we can still qualify. I guess the more you trade or interact with the exchange, the dApp, you have better chance for airdrop. But this video is not about the airdrop. It's about Renjo Exchange. Let me show you some of the useful features, I guess, right? So, if you are aware, or if you were hiding under the rock and not aware, that's not good. I've been using Osmosis heavily, right? Big time. This is where I play most of my games. On Cosmos ecosystem, basically. JunoSwap, Osmosis. And let me give an example. So, Renjo, over here, if you go back to Multigen Network, I don't have... Look at this. They don't have Osmosis, do they? No. They don't have a lot of options. However, Rango, they have EVEMOS, they have Polygon, Osmosis, literally everything. Oh, there you go. They even have Optimism now. Right? They have pretty much quite a bunch of options anyway. And you can connect all your wallets. Four wallets right now. Wallet Connect, MetaMask, Kepler, Phantom. I'm using MetaMask and Kepler because, obviously, MetaMask most common evm right and kepler because i play on cosmos system so why would you use ranjo okay let's see so i've connected my kepler and metamask all right first reason let's say you wanna okay first of all i'm not gonna mess with any other options here affiliate seems like you can refer people and get whatever all right i'm just gonna stick to the swap this is what you use right so and I'm going to close this before I even discuss this. So in Range of, we're supporting all EVMs. And over here, Range Exchange is now officially on Magic Store, a multi chain DEX bridge aggregator. Okay. So let's close this. All right. So let's say, first reason, you want to take profits from whatever exchange, but the coin is not listed on, I mean, from whatever, uh, you know, wherever you're playing, from whatever blockchain, right? But the token is not listed on any exchanges. So you have to figure out a way to bridge it, right? To a blockchain or whatever token that is acceptable, you know, by that exchange. So, for example, Osmosis, let's say Osmosis here, because I play with Osmosis, right? And I have Osmo, you can see 20 Osmo token. And Osmosis, well, it's not listed on any centralized exchanges, if I'm not wrong. And even if it is, it's not out there in uh, most of the, the, well, the biggest one, the popular ones, all right? It's not in Crypto.com or FTX, right? So you have to convert. I cannot take any Osmo from, to my, uh, to the exchanges. However, you could swap this to Atom, literally, and Atom is acceptable in literally every centralized exchanges. That's the best way. However, if you want to play in other blockchains, right? 
So let's say you want to, you have something going on on Polygon and you want to just take some money from Osmosis and go to Polygon. Just like any other bridging, all right? But however, understand this, the slippage is messed up, depends. And also the based on the traffic of the blockchain and all that. So if you're trying to convert something totally crazy to something totally super crazy, then you'll see exactly what's happened, right? The slippage and yeah, you might end up paying quite a decent amount in fee. But since I do decent, for example, $500 to $1,000, all right? For me, paying that amount and a $10 in fees really doesn't matter much, okay? But yes, if you're taking... Uh, here, check this out, right? Pretty much the same thing. The larger the volume, the better it is. If you're doing 20 or $50 from Osmo, and this is the best part of um, Rango. I guess you can do this in multi-chain too, can you? Convert Crow token to something else. I'm not sure. Let's say from Crow. Yeah, you can't. I guess not. But in Rango, let's say you want to transfer Osmo, 1,000 Osmo, I don't have though right now, but example, 1000 Osmo, I want to transfer to Polygon, to USDC. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. So <laughs> it does, it's swapping itself and everything. Like it'll show you the, the whole uh, routes, right? So 1000 Os from Osmo goes to Polygon and you can see the more you, the better, uh, the higher the number, obviously your slippage and everything is pretty straightforward, right? If it's small, you're paying too much. I'm just, Trying to check this again. This is life. And obviously, uh, look at this. So $50, 52 yeah, kind of slippage, right? But if you're doing more, well, in more volume, because I've tried with $1,000 and I literally got 997 or so. So it was very close, all right? All right, it show you. So from Osmo, it's going to go to Juno Swap. Osmo, Juno, I don't know why it's going to have to do it that way. But then to Atom, to Atom, to Torchain, to Ethereum, to Uniswap, so you have to have some Ethereum fees, uh, yeah, for it, for fees on the Ethereum blockchain, because it's gonna send to Ethereum, then it's gonna convert to USDC, and then from there it's gonna send it to Polygon to USDC. It's, it's a lot, totally, like one, two, three, four, six. That's a little crazy, yeah, but it doesn't matter. It's just gonna happen in I don't know five, uh, probably. It says approximately could take you average to six minutes, but minimum a minute. It usually doesn't take that long, but again, depends on the network, okay? But I found this really helpful because you don't have to keep doing, well, it just, you, you instead of doing manually, it does it for you. Instead of you swapping Osmo to this and this, it does it for you, all right? So, for example, it also has Juno, right? I haven't seen Juno anywhere else. So if I was, if I'm playing with Juno Swap, if I say, I'm going to convert 1,000 Juno, I'm going to send 1,000 Juno to... Arbitrum or maybe what Avalanche? Let's see Avalanche, right? So what happens? I don't even know if that's possible. I've never tried all these things. And like I said, I don't really play in any other ecosystem, but well why not? If you do, this is one of the you know useful way to bridge your stuff. Bridge and swap basically. It says swap in 40 blockchains. 40 blockchains. Alright, it's gonna take a while. Again, like I said. If you put weird coins, it's still trying to figure out, and this whole thing is still in beta mode, but it works. So literally, you could convert your Juno to AVAX in AVAX token, or you could choose any other tokens here. So how about I convert 1000 Juno to um, USDC and put it in AVAX uh, blockchain, Avalanche blockchain. You get the point? Yeah, that's awesome, right? Because Juno, again, is not listed on any exchanges. So let's say you want to play in Avalanche because there's a new Ponzi farm, which I would not encourage you to do so. Waste your money, right? But let's say there's a new Ponzi on Avalanche and you want to take some profits from Juno and just play in the other system. This is the best way to do it. At least for now, okay? You simply plug in your Juno 1000, this. Click on Swap. And check this out. It'll tell you. Confirm Swap 1000 Juno to for whatever, Avalanche. Right, uh, USDC. This is how much USDC you're gonna get on your Avalanche, all right? Your Cosmos wallet. So you, you have to just click on swap and ex you know approve a few transactions. And that's it. The whole Juno will be converted to USDC and transferred to Avalanche. It's awesome, right? Yes, I know. Over two billion traded already, and uh, 
yeah, I don't really play on any other ecosystem at this moment. But once in a while, I get on Polygon or Kronos, and that's this is how I do it. All right, so let me know what you think in the comments. All right, if I find out more about this and other stuff, I'll let you know. And there's quite a bunch of stuff coming, like I said, on Cosmos ecosystem and overall crypto. All right, so take it easy, and I'll see you soon.